Now I could survive the apocalypse. The DJ, and I'm stuck inside going 95. The way she looked at me with a dirty gleam, it was like she wanted to hurt me. I've seen it before. Good stuff. Good stuff, guys. What's up, everybody? It's Brooklyn Prepper. You might be saying to yourself, why do I have all this nonsense in front of me right now? I'm going to tell you why. Uh, just the other day, I was going through all my camp and stuff and all my prep stuff, and I was looking all this stuff that I had double up uh, that I'm not using anymore, and I figured to myself, you know what, I got to put some of this stuff to use. You know, it's some cheaper tents and some cheaper stuff that I had, right, that been long replaced by other uh, stuff, right? So I was thinking to myself and saying, Brooklyn, what do you want to do with all this nonsense? So I came up with an idea, and I always wanted to do this. I always want to have, like, a, like a portable camp set, like, like a portable camp out place, you know, a camp out thing. Like portable, be with you all the time, right? So what I came up with is I got some of these uh, PVC pipes. We all know you, you can put stuff in them and bury all your treasure and whatever you bury in them, right? But I came up with an idea. I had this old backpack frame, right? And I showed you this the backpack frame and these tubes a while ago in one of my videos. But as I was cleaning everything up, I was saying, you know what? It's time for me to make that video that I want to make and that ding that I want to make. Uh, I'm gonna call it the portable camp site in your car at all times. We could put letters and try to make it fancy like that. What they do, a little purpose make those fancy letters up. But anyway, let me show you what I got. I got the tubes, right? And I got the backpack, and I had all kinds of stuff. I had this, this uh, SOG uh, machete, I had this, just nothing, nothing. I don't do any kind of product I use or nothing, but this is a Schrade knife, right? I bought this for 40 bucks. I haven't used it yet, right? But it is heavy duty, man. For 40 bucks for a survival knife, you can't go wrong. Why right? it comes with a nice little sheet and everything. Uh, and what else? Oh, what I did. I, I got in here, I bought... I ordered a little knife sharpener, so you always have a witch. You can sharpen uh, the, the machete up, or you can sh sharpen this up. But anyway, what I'm doing here, this project that I'm doing, I'm not going to do it right before you rise, but I'm going to show you how I, I'm getting started. And maybe some of you guys out there, and girls, right, could give me some uh, some pointers, right, of uh, what you were putting these tubes and all that stuff. I love your feedback. But my idea here for this stuff was... I right, to get a lot of this old stuff. I got, this is not old, but this uh, dragon fire stove that you see me just make the coffee with. It's excellent, right? And it fits perfect in one of these tubes, right? So, let me try to, I am rusty on making videos, right? I, I tell you, I got to just get my doors thing. So, what I'm going to, what I'm going to do with this stuff, I'm going to take these tubes, right? And, uh, let's see, this one over here, I'm uh, pretty sure it's empty, right? As you know, I'm going to fill it with stuff, right? All kinds of camp, a stove, uh, uh, I got I got the machete, the knife, what else I got around here? I got one of those portable little uh, saws I'm going to put in there, right? Everything that I'm pretty much doubled up on is going to go in here, right? This one already, what I put in this one already, it wasn't easy, but I got it in there, right? There's a three-man tent in there with the poles in the back. So that's a three-man tent that fits perfectly in one of these tubes, right? I would give you the dimensions and everything, but I'm not going to. Just the way I am, I guess, right? You make them which size you want them to be. I don't know the dimensions. I did that like two feet by something. I, you know, this is another empty one. But what am I doing? I got a bunch of junk. I can add it. Hey, what else I'm going to do with it? Right? This tube, right? Say, okay, this tube has the tent. This tube, I'm going to be putting all my camping gear in here. 
the little stove, a couple of the bottles, a couple of the gas bottles, right? These things fit in there great too, a couple of little uh, stainless steel cups and uh, pans, right? And uh, what I'm going to do with one of them, this one I'm going to fill up with all dehydrated food, like, like all my little packs I make up, my little scout packs. I'm going to fill this one up with. But what else I'm going to do is I'm going to take this valve, right? And I'm going to put it in here, right? So I, I, it's going to go this way. I'm going to drill a hole, and i got some washers, right? See, some washers. And I'm going to drill it in here. So after I take the food out of here, right, I can fill this sucker up with water and have a little, and have this fastened to a tree or whatever, or to your your mother-in-law's back or something, right? And you could just have like a little portable water system where you can wash your hands and, you know, drink, get some water to boil your food, whatever you're doing during the, the apocalypse where you're trying to survive, right? All that doomsday stuff when you're hiding in the woods, right? And waiting for somebody to come along so you could show how powerful you are, I guess. I don't know, being a doomsday prepper, right? But anyway, I'm going to mount these tubes to this old backpack frame, right? But I'm not going to mount them where they permanently stay on. I'm going to mount them, right, with uh, some, uh, some tie-down straps, right? Where you could also use the tie-down straps to strap the water into a tree, right? Or strap your food up high, right? Whatever you want to do, right? I'm like all confused. I don't even know exactly how this thing is going to turn out or what I'm putting, putting in it, into it. But I just wanted to make a video to show you I'm starting this little project. And I'm going to make it nice. It's going to come out nice. I'm going to put paracord on it. You know, I'll maybe paint it up, paint the frame up and everything. But just to give you guys a little idea, if you've got some old stuff laying around, you could make stuff. My phone is going off and I can't find it. Hold on a all right, guys, sorry about that. My phone was vibrating over there and buzzing, and I know it, 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 like, it, went, it was like three times in a row. I said, this has to be important, right? So I called back. It was my wife, and it was so important. I got to get bagels. She wants me. After I do my video, she said, go to the store and get bagels for the kids' lunch tomorrow. Anyway, right? So I'm going to show you what I got here, right? I'm excited to be back. I like doing this. Right? But anyway, I got the Dragonfly stove. That works. If you if you want a good camp stove, that thing is is great. Right? But when you're looking it up, type in butterfly stove. And, it, and it's it's gonna you know, you could find it through a butterfly stove too. But it's really called a dragonfly. Dragonfly. Does a butterfly and a dragonfly look the same? I don't think so. I don't know. It's just me. I don't know. Anyway, I show you the little water spigot and everything, and what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to mount it to this, I'm going to start adding all kinds of old camp and stuff, but the reason, the reason why I'm making this this way is because this is going to go in my car, it's going to go in the back of my truck, and a lot of people are going to be typing, so I'll save you the typing, hey, why don't you just put a backpack in there, a bug out bag, and, you know, and and with your bug out bag and, and 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 your tent and everything, just leave it in your truck. The reason for I'm gonna do why I won't do that because I don't want to. All right, tough guy. No. Anyway, no. The reason why I want to make it this way is because, right? These things are solid and hot. So when they're in the back of my truck, I throw a lot of crap in the back of the truck all the time and everything. It's gonna protect everything that's in there. And just in case of a, the apocalypse, I could take these tubes and bury them somewhere so I can have a secondary doomsday location. You understand? So you kind of keep on thinking, you know? But anyway, that's why I'm basically making it to these are nice and solid, right? And I'm also going to be putting in, nah, I can't put them in there now, but it's going to, like I said, got the machete and all kinds of, and some food and everything. You know, you never know. You're traveling and something happens. You know, you could pull this thing out. You got a tent. You got you got you got food. You could you put some water in there and you're good to go. And instead of just having the tubes holding in your hand, 
right there attached to a backpack you can throw the sucker on your back and say if all traffic is all backed up and you know there's a flood or some kind of natural disaster or something you could throw this on your back and if you got a long hike home at least you have you have a portable camp spot campsite camp spot same stuff anyway but that's what I wanted to show you I just want to do a video too I, I don't know I was bored I figured let me do a video but anyway I was gonna do the video after it was all done and show you step by step how I did it but I'm going to do that right <laughs> when I when I'm doing it right <laughs> this video is gonna be one of the most ridiculous videos to watch I don't even know why you're still watching but anyway, I'd like to hear your, your feedback and what I should put in this little portable campsite that I'm going to have in the back of my truck. You know what it is? I'm too jacked up. This was Coffee Yankee sent me. This was from Ethiopia, right? And I'm drinking it black and everything really strong, and it totally got me nuts. And I heard a rumor. It might just be a rumor. I think he's going to start selling coffee roasted already but hey i didn't you know i didn't, I didn't say anything but that's what i got guys <laughs> that's what i got and i got this stuff i don't even know where to go from here like i'm i'm like all coffeeed up today i like 15 cups of coffee i you no know what i said it's a good time to make a video but anyway all seriousness everything on the side right this is what i'm doing i'm making this thing and i'm gonna <laughs> Oh man, I'm killing myself today, but I'm going to make this little backpack thing. Believe me, once I'm done, it's going to look really cool and it's going to be very functional. All right? I'm just having fun today with you guys tonight because I just pulled all this stuff out. I'm jacked up on some good Yankee prepper coffee, right? And I got a, I got a machete! And I got a machete! Imagine I'm drinking coffee and running with a machete. That's crazy. That's nuts. I ain't probably on a terrorist watch list by now. Like some other preppers I know. Right, but that's it. That's it, folks. And how are you guys doing out there? And I, I miss everybody. But I'm going to start working on this thing tonight. Like, all serious. Uh, let me push the coffee away for a minute. But I got all kinds of stuff I'm going to put in. I got this source. I got I got the compass, I got floats for fishing, right? I got, oh, here's that saw, that little portable swing saw, I think it's called, or something like that, a lightsaber, right? I got this, I got stuff, I got everything I'm going to put in there. Live for today, prep for tomorrow, and guys, and always remember, have praise in our Lord above, all right? That's why I'm always feeling good. That's why I always feel powerful. It's because of the man upstairs. It wasn't for him. I even have magnesium, all that stuff. It's going to be a fun little project, and I'll touch base with you guys real soon. I know this was a real nutty video, but I was in a real good mood today, and I wanted to touch base with everybody. Live for today, prep for tomorrow. God bless everybody. i see you next time. Walking on the beach.